Good morning, Wild Lake. We hope you had an excellent weekend, and welcome back to The Roar. If you want to learn more about electives for next year, watch this playlist on The Roar's YouTube channel to find something that interests you. Do you have a pet? The Roar is looking for your pet photos for a new segment called The Wild Things of Wild Lake. Submit your photo via the Google Form link below. Do you have a favorite book or favorite author? Why not let them know? Enter the Letters About Literature contest to write your own letter to your favorite author, living or dead, and tell them how much they changed your life. Congratulations to the Wildlife Physics Department for their win this weekend. Here are a few words from Mr. Cohen. Good morning, Wild Lake, and welcome to January in 2018. Again, I'm Larry Cohen, and as always, I hope you're all doing well. So first of all, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you all have a happy, healthy, and safe 2018, and I wish you all the very best this year and beyond. I can't believe it's already 2018. The question I always hear and often ask myself is, where does the time go? The answer is this, the clock never stops. It keeps moving. And quite honestly, the older I get, the quicker it seems to go. Let's talk about time for a moment. There are very few things in this life that are exactly the same for any of us. And almost everything I can think of, there's a difference. We all come in different sizes, shapes, colors, and backgrounds. We all, as I've said before, have different talents, gifts, strengths, and weaknesses. We all do things differently. We, you know, we have different likes and dislikes. If anything, all these differences make us stronger. However, time is the one thing that we all have that is exactly the same. And we all have an equal amount of it every day. None of us has more, and none of us has less. Time is the great equalizer. It doesn't matter about our other differences. Those 24 hours a day is the time allotted to each one of us on a daily basis. What will not be equal, however, is how much of that time we all have in our lives. That none of us knows. Now what we choose to accomplish in any given day, how we choose to spend that time, dare I say waste that time, is pretty much up to us for the most part. Certainly there are some things we have to do, and there are some things we like to do, and we have to balance that. Time is our most valuable resource, but time is not infinite. Time, that means it is not forever, and once it is gone, it is gone for good. We can't go back, ever. The clock keeps ticking, and time waits for no one. I suggest that we all wisely use those 24 hours given to us, and that we treat time as a very precious gift that is to be respected and utilized to the best of our abilities. I will leave you with a well-known quote. It's not what time does to us, it's what we do with time. Please, your you please use your time wisely. In real life, there is no reverse, no pause, or no fast forward. And now, my closing comments as always. Work hard, never give up. Maintain your sense of humor. You'll always need that. Use your time wisely. Always do your very best. Have a good positive attitude. Have confidence in yourself and your abilities. Be honest with yourself and others. Respect yourself and others. Always be in control of your attitude, actions, and behaviors. Think before you act and think before you react. Be nice and kind to each other. Follow through in your commitments and responsibilities. Use good judgment. Make good decisions and good choices. Keep both your body and mind healthy and strong, and always keep love in your heart. Stay healthy. Please be careful out there. And as always, and most importantly, please come back to school safely tomorrow and every day. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the week, a great upcoming weekend. Love to you all, and of course. That's all for today. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time on The Roar. <laughs>